Miss Tennessee Nikki, y'all, and happy hump day to y'all. Y'all, we got a quick and easy dish today. I know y'all probably like, girl, it ain't quick. I promise you. I promise you it is. I ain't no plan. I'm for real. But look, I hope y'all having a good day today. I hope the weather is good for y'all and stuff. Girl, it's been messing up my size. I ain't gonna lie, because one minute is winter, the next minute is spring in the same day. I can't control. I don't know what to do. I mean, somebody give me some advice what to do when it's one in the morning and in the evening it's uh, spring, summer. I don't know what to do. But I hope it is and we just have one type of weather throughout the whole day. But y'all, <laughs> before we get into this, let's do some housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit the bell to be notified so you can get all the stuff, girl. And then if you got extra time, if you got to wash some clothes, wash the baby. Or, no, 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 wash the baby. Okay, wash some clothes or do some dishes or something. Can you watch a couple of commercials or two? Because you know you're watching the kids and stuff. You need to keep your eyes on the kids, okay? I, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, girl, we're going to make some King Ranch Chicken Casserole today, okay? King Ranch Chicken Casserole. And we're not putting no ranch dressing. We're not putting no ranch, even though I love ranch. We ain't putting ranch dressing. It's, this uh, came from, like, Texas. It's like the biggest ranch ever so that's what we're making today okay that's what the word ranch come from so we're gonna start by putting some uh i guess an onion right here we're gonna put some onions in there when i say it's quick and easy quick and easy i got like a bell pepper right here we're gonna put that bell pepper in there and let me tell you how quick and easy it is we ain't even cook the chicken we got dog on it oh a rotisserie chicken from walmart <laughs> We got a rotisserie chicken from Walmart. Now, if you want to go ahead and cook your own chicken, that's fine. But guess what? I'm trying to make this quick. It's Wednesday. We got shows. We got to catch up on on our DVR and stuff. We ain't trying to be like watching chicken cooking and stuff, okay? Just stop by the stove. Get you a rotisserie chicken. Shred that thing up. And guess what? We can act like we cooking it because I'm going to put it in here. So just act like... <laughs> <laughs> Act like we cooked it, okay? It's in the skillet, so technically, technically we cook. Look, we cooking it. I mean, what else you gonna call it if it's in the skillet? We cooking it, okay? <laughs> we gonna put. I'm gonna put a pack of taco seasoning in here, okay? So we really cooking it. We got seasonings. If you don't want to use taco seasoning, you can leave that out, okay? Just being extra. I'm just being extra. We're going to season this up. Let this fry up. Look at that. Who said we got it from the store? <laughs> Who said that? They, girl, you ain't got to tell them. They'll never know. <laughs> They'll never know. Just cook at it now. We cooking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this, I'm gonna let this marinate together, let them vegetables cook up. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Super easy, I'm telling y'all. Y'all gonna be like, dang, we could cook this through the weekday. I am. It's Wednesday. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna put some cream of chicken in here. Cream of chicken. Break it all off in there. Okay, now we got the cream of mushroom. <laughs> We're going to put the cream of mushroom with y'all. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> we got one more can. We're going to put some rotel, a can of rotel with the juice, with the juice. And that's all we putting in here. Look how easy that is. Oh, it smells so good. Stir that together. Look at that. Stir it together. Let me get oh, I know y'all holding y'all ears, me scraping with that uh, spoon. Oh, look at her. Look at her. You see her. Oh, you could just.
just eat this right here with some crackers or some bread. <laughs> with some crackers or some bread. Okay. So I'm gonna let this marinate together for a little bit just so everything can incorporate. And then we're gonna start, we're gonna get you a casserole dish. I also gotta preheat my oven. Preheat your oven to 350. Get you a casserole dish, and we're gonna start layering this thing. We're gonna pull the cheese out and stuff, and it's gonna be done. Simple as that. How hard is that for a weekday dinner? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, get you a casserole dish and spray it with some palm oil, whatever you got, butter, it don't matter. And uh, cut or cut you up some tortillas, or you don't have to cut it up, it just depends on you. And just throw them in there. <laughs> just throw them in there. You can leave them whole if you want to. Okay. And we're going to layer this thing. Put me one right here. Okay. Then we're gonna uh put that mixture on top. Put that mixture on top. Oh, it smells so good. Make sure you get your cheese out. Make sure my oven is preheating right now, so you might hear a ding in a minute. Spread some of this out. Told y'all this quick and easy. Quick and easy. Get them corners. Look. You see ya. Okay. Then we're gonna sprinkle. This is Kobe Jack cheese, but you can use whatever cheese you want. Whatever cheese you want. Get them corners real good. Okay. And we're just going to do it again. Throw them tortillas on there. It can be cut any kind of way. If you want to make some doggone Frankenstein tortillas, it don't matter. Because once everything gets the bacon together, you can't tell. You cannot tell. Let's go on and put that on there. Like that. You can make a puzzle or something if you want to. <laughs> You could make a puzzle. Be like, this fit right here, that fit right there. <laughs> okay. Booms. Okay. She ready. Now, ooh, I just feel like I needed one more. Okay, and we're going to put the rest of it on here. Fix up so she'll look cute in a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses. Okay, we're going to spread it out. Get those corners like I told you before. Tighten that wrist up and get in them corners. <laughs> okay. And then... Gonna put that cheese on there. Hold on. Put some more in here. Put that cheese on now. Put the 
cheese in the corner. Hold on, let me get some more. And we're going to cover this up for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to take the cover off for about 20 more minutes until she's good and bubbly. Okay? So I'm going to put some aluminum foil on it. And then I'm going to take it off in 20 minutes and let her bake some more and get golden brown. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and I'm finished with this King Ranch chicken casserole, girl. I ain't gonna hold just a weekday. Go on, look at her. Look at her. Ain't she cute? I didn't let her cool off and stuff, so that's why she's not properly sat right. <laughs> but she delicious. Look at her. Ain't she cute? Get close up. You can see the chicken and the other stuff and the peppers and stuff and up in that thing. But she cute. <laughs> look at her. Yeah, y'all, I know y'all got to do everything, get the kids ready for school tomorrow and stuff. I ain't going to hold you. But, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified. You got extra time. Go and watch commercial, too. Y'all, please stay safe out there. And I'm going to see you again next time. I love you. Bye-bye.